Hey Kingdom family, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Candy Nicole and welcome back to Arise in Glory. So today God is saying boomerang. The word is boomerang and I'm going to get into the meaning definition and this boomerang is a two-sided boomerang. So there's two sides to this word. You guys please excuse me. I feel as if my voice is just like going through something right now y'all i need to get myself to bed but i have to get this word out before i do so so you guys if you have been here for a while and you have enjoyed the content please consider subscribing liking sharing out the video also if you need prayer my information is in the description box you can hit me up on arise and glory 60 at gmail and i will come into agreement in prayer for you Together, we will send out the fire, okay? Together, it's a group effort here. I don't like, it's a group effort here, okay? Together, we will send out that fire. Also, if you wanna sow into the ministry, my information is also in the description box. So let's get into this word. So the word was boomerang. I went look it up. A boomerang is a curved, flat piece of wood that can be thrown so that it will return to the thrower. It was traditionally used by Australians as hunting <clears throat> weapons, okay? So it's thrown out and it comes back. The other day I told you guys I've been hearing that song. It's all coming back, all coming back to me now. God is saying that your blessings are coming back to you and they're coming back to you now. Like now, now, now. Like the time is now. Now, now, now. I had to look, the word God gave me. The time is now, not later, now. It's coming back to you now. You can expect to see swiftly, like swiftly things happening. In the month, this month before it's over, a lot of things are gonna be happening in a lot of your lives. Um, Prophetic words should be like confirmation to the things that God has already told you. So after you hear this, it's confirm something that you've already heard from God, okay? Some of you are in this category and some of you are not in this category. So you need to bring this back to him and ask him about it, you guys. So he said, your blessings are coming back to you. Also, you guys, referring to this, God gave me a word a while back. I was... Let me be real with you. I was on the phone with my mom. My mom was also a seer. She hears. I was on the phone with my mom, and I was telling her about something I was going through at the time. And she was like, I keep hearing God say something about ashes and feet, but I'm not getting it all. And she calls me back maybe like a few minutes after we hang up, and she says, ashes under your feet. And it's Malachi 4. And Malachi 4 says, For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and evil doers will be stubble, the day is coming, shall set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. You shall tread down on the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I act says the Lord of hosts. So God is saying that the wicked is gonna be like ashes under your feet. And all the blessings that you have been going out there and being a blessing to others, they're coming back to you. And they're coming back to you in different ways. They're coming back to you double, press down, run together. All that good stuff is coming back. And the time is now, okay? But there's two sides to this. I've been talking about, God has been talking about judgment with me. Judgment for the righteous and judgment for the unrighteous. And this is the time for both. They're happening at the same time, okay? So another thing that's under boomerang, as far as definition, it has similar words. And one word that is similar is backfire. And that is exactly what's about to happen to the wicked. Things are about to backfire. What they sent out is coming back to them also. It's backfiring. It's a boomerang for them also. So this morning, God was talking to me about a few things of why these people are about to go through the things that they are about to go through. And he was telling me he hates 
a prideful spirit. He didn't exactly say it like that, but he says he despises it. He despises a prideful spirit, okay? Hate was my word, y'all, okay? It says, the Lord detests all of the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. Proverbs 16, 5. He despises it, and they will not go unpunished. Then he says to me, what comes out the mouth follows what comes out of the heart. And I knew what he was talking about. So that is in Matthew 12, 34. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So this is why these people are about to be judged is because of their heart, matters of their heart. They had a chance to change. They came up, the wheats and the tares came up together. They had a chance to change. They decided not to. They were right next to blessings, right next to God's light. And they could have picked up on that light, but they decided not to. They wanted to live in their own wicked ways. Prideful hearts, heart and hearts, and it's a time for judgment. I said the other day, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's going to bring some people to their knees and they are going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. That was kind of a hard one, um, but it is what it is. God is a God of justice and sometimes that justice has two different sides to it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.